The Southern Ohio Copperheads have reached the 10-win plateau tonight after taking care of the Hamilton Joes by a final score of 5-3. to three. And Jake, it was a good game. Both sides played well. There was good pitching. There was good hitting at times. Southern Ohio jumped out to a 4-0 lead and found a way to hold on. Good to get back on track. Yeah, and you got great pitching. Joe Wall was fantastic. He's a guy that usually is a reliever, and he's a shutdown reliever, too. Was very good in five and two-thirds innings. Only gave up the two runs. Only three hits, too, and was very good. Um, you know, coming in as a starter, the back end of the bullpen was fantastic, too. I mean, obviously, uh, you had that three-headed monster. I mean, you brought in Cody Musial, who shut down uh, Eric Shanahan, and then Josh Rader, and you shut the door on Hamilton. Obviously, the offense, seven hits in the first two innings. I um, mean, everybody was getting in on it. Uh, the top of the lineup to the bottom of the lineup plays Salter with an RBI base hit. You know, a couple of guys getting in there, too. Um, Dan Schmidt got in on it with an RBI base hit. So this team, you know, it was a good win. The pitching was fantastic, and now two and two on this road trip. Now after the game, we talked to Joe Wall first and foremost, and he told us about you know what he did that was successful out there on the field. And then after that, we talked to Josh Rader, and he talked about how much he loves that closer's role. It's something he's really built for. You want to go out there and you want to pound the strike zone and get ahead of hitters, and if you do that, um, then it comes easy. You know, um, you get ground balls, you force contact, and uh, you know, a good hitter three, ten, three times out of ten gets a hit, so I mean, I like your, like your chances out there. I love it. You know, last year in the JUCO that I played at, I was put in the closers role, and uh, just ever since then, it's just it's been thriving off the pressure and you know, the intensity of the game at that point when it's close and stuff like that. I just, for some reason, I just do well out there, so. The busy road trip will continue tomorrow as the Southern Ohio Copperheads will travel to Stark County for day four of a seven day road trip and they're gonna have to find a way to stay on track there. I mean, Stark County is a good ball club. They've quietly gotten above 500. You gotta play well there. Yeah, and it's, it'll be an interesting road trip to you just continue. You go out three hours, a bus ride. It'll be a five o'clock game this time at Stark County up near Canton, Ohio. They play at Walsh University. The Copperheads did edge out Stark County in the first matchup at home. Ben Otto had that big two run home run, but it's gonna be another game you gotta take care of business. Uh, and you you know got it you know get a winning record on this road trip and that's going to be an important game going into a tough weekend. Now with that being said, make sure that you check into all of our Copperhead media. You can go to our Facebook page, follow us on Twitter at Go Copperheads, or most importantly, go to our uh, YouTube page. Uh, go to Copperheads Baseball when you're on YouTube. But make sure you also listen to our broadcast tomorrow. Go to CopperheadBaseball.com. You can hear Jake and I as always. But with that being said, he's been Jacob Corgan. I've been Ryan Boyd, and this has been a Copperheads recap.